Good afternoon. Uh, I'm presenting my talk on helping patients see at their ideal distance to the CRV technology or continuous range of vision technology. Uh, I'm an investigator and consultant for Johnson & Johnson and other IOL companies. So as the talks go, we see that there's just so many IOLs in the market now. And it's actually very confusing and intimidating, even for our residents and fellows when they graduate, what lens will they use? In this category, I think the synergy falls closest to the trifocal category. So the first innovation in diffractive technology was the bifocal where one step height was added and this gave patients good distance in here, but many patients compared, uh, complained of photic phenomena. The second innovation was adding two step heights. So trifocals came about and there was intermediate focus at 80 centimeters and near vision at 40 centimeters. What was lucky for us is the patients complained of less photic phenomena. There was another mini innovation wherein a quadrifocal was created. And when they did this, they realized that redirecting one part of the intermediate vision to distance augmented the distance and they left the intermediate vision at 60 centimeters so now these are our uh, innovations in trifocal technology and these are the lenses that represent these innovations so we did the comparative study on the three trifocals that were most popular and what we found was the defocus curve shows us that Distance vision was good, near vision, so there's a peak at distance, there's a second peak at near, and the trifocal somehow smoothed out the intermediate vision of these patients. So EDOF now came about, and why did EDOF come into the market? Because patients wanted more range of vision with the monofocal, but they wanted less side effects from the trifocals or the multifocal. So extended depth of focus lenses became more popular. So we also did the comparative study on three different extended depth of focus IOLs, the Symphony, which is a diffractive lens, the IC8, which is a pinhole, and the WIOL, which is a polyfocal. And we found that distance vision is perfect, intermediate vision is very good, but near vision is somehow not enough for the patients because patients wanted J1, but they can get only J2 to J3. So now, the new kid on the block is the Technic Synergy, and uh, we, uh, we wanted to showcase how it provides continuous range of vision. So that Synergy is actually a combination of the advantages of two uh, very good products from the Technic family. The multifocal, the Technic multifocal, provides very good distance and near vision, while the Technic Symphony, we know, provides very good distance and intermediate vision and has some features that increase contrast sensitivity. So the defocus curve now of the Synergy, as we see here, smooths out the gaps or dips in the trifocal lenses. So one feature that I like about the Synergy and the Symphony is the improved contrast sensitivity. So how does it do this? First, the Technis family has a negative spherical aberration which counters the corneal spherical aberration positive, essentially making the total optical system near zero in terms of spherical aberration. The second feature of the Technis family is the high Abbey number which helps chromatic aberration compensation. So if you see this table, you will see that the Synergy and the Symphony have the highest ABI number of all the hydrophobic acrylic lenses. Another feature of the Technis diffractive lenses is chromatic aberration compensation. So with the diffractive optics, uh, sharper focus is achieved because the dispersion of the red and blue light is reduced compared to a standard monofocal or typical IOL or even a refractive IOL. This reduction in dispersion of colors aids in sharpening the focus. So we we were lucky to be part of this prospective randomized multi-center study 
featuring the Tikli Synergy and a very good trifocal IOL, and we are presenting three-month interim results. So our study was a prospective multicenter bilateral implantation, randomized two to one, meaning for every two synergy recruitment recruited patients, we recruited one panoptics patient. We are presenting uh, 177 patients with three month follow up. So in this graph, we see that the defocus curve of the synergy is in maroon or red, and the panoptics is gray. All throughout the defocus, the synergy performs better than the panoptics all throughout the defocus range. Another interesting feature is the near vision range. So in this graph, we show that at three diopters defocus, 3.5 diopters defocus, or four diopter defocus, the technique synergy performs better. So for those of you who have experienced synergy, we know that the near vision is excellent with this lens. The range of vision is very good. And we see in this graph that at far vision, Synergy is better. Intermediate vision, 66 centimeters. Synergy is better. Near vision, 40 centimeters. And near vision, 33 centimeters. So all throughout the range of vision, Synergy performs very well. So what about dim light? So in mesopic, best uh, corrected distance vision, mesopic near vision, and photopic low contrast vision, the Technis Synergy outperforms the panoptics. So we know that uh, patients want good nighttime vision and the Synergy delivers this better than the panoptics lens. So in terms of patient satisfaction, so we have a questionnaire that we gave to the patients and 90% uh, satisfaction in seeing uh, reading street signs at night 96% satisfaction in reading the menu in a dimly lit restaurant, and 97% satisfaction in seeing steps or curbs in the evening. So we want the, the patients with synergy to be seeing very well in nighttime activities. So in summary, the Technis Synergy provides a wider range of continuous vision. That's why we call this a continuous range of vision lens, a new category. And binocular visual acuity from distance to near is better head-to-head -head compared with the panoptics. Near vision is as good as the Technis multifocal with a strong intermediate vision. Or you can say the near vision is better than your usual Technis symphony lens. And one important feature of the synergy is the high image contrast. As we know, diffractive optics sometimes sacrifice contrast vision, but because of the high ABI number of the Technis material and the chromatic aberration correction of the diffractive optics, plus the violet light penetration, the Technis synergy delivers high contrast vision. Thank you very much, and I'm here to answer questions.